All right, so I lied to you guys. Um, we are here at Texaco in Spring, Texas, off the corner of Rayford and something. And we got ourselves an older Mark 7 soft wash. And you know, I f saw this thing online on YouTube, somebody else visited it, and I decided I have to come here. And we're gonna do this again because unfortunately, they don't take credit. So let's go inside, we're gonna drive through the bay and then I will go inside and pay for the wash. So we're just gonna drive on through here. Oh, not virtual treadle. And we gotta go a long ways around. So I will pick this up in a bit. All right, let's try this again. We are back here at this car wash and I noticed what I ran over is actually something I think that came off somebody's car. So this is kind of scary. I'm actually gonna get in there and go pick it up and then I'll come back and do the uh, wash coat. So I'll take this in with me. something I thought somebody's car. Yeah, there was just something from, uh, like something fell off somebody's car that was in there. All right, so I entered the code, didn't get that on camera because um, I was back. So the fact that that fell off somebody's car is kind of scary. But let's go and we're getting our undercarriage wash. It's kind of weak. And you can see we've already got water coming out of the nozzle up ahead. So this might be a failure. I'm gonna turn this off because we're getting fogged up. I'm honestly quite scared for this. I'm not gonna lie one bit. And there is virtual treadle. Wow, we were fogging up bad in here. Stop, no buzzer. And let's try and fix this fog. Or fogging up on the outside. So here we go with the rinse. Very slow. Sorry, I'm holding that crooked. Still getting used to this new camera. Very slow pass for the rinse. And I'm still fogging up on the outside. This thing does not sound good at all. And we're getting our lack of tri foam oh boy guys I may have made a mistake here this is trash this is this is bad and the fact that I'm more so over to the right concerns me oh that thing sounds so bad Here we go. Let's see if this can profile correctly. Nope. That would be, okay, now it's lifted so the front can do its little tip job there. Now it comes back down. So I just noticed we got light there. That light's burnt out. And we got foam oozing out of both sides. 
It's making contact though, so. Coming down the back. Let's hope this one does not bend my license plate up. That guy who asked if it was working is now behind me in line. So watch this thing come forward so it can do its back clean. There it goes, on the back. Ooh, the right brush is the one that comes across on this guy. So we should get our stop into our brush flip while this will move forward again to, for leaking foam and throwing foam onto the car. <laughs> Sorry guys. Okay, so now we're gonna come up, let's get a profile in the back, and please do not slip my license plate up. And I'm gonna say it did not because of how absolutely poorly it touched the back there. I want you to come up the side. It seems quite confused by my roof rack as it's doing a lot of bouncing. So it's not making any contact, but that's typical. Got nozzle spraying something there, so it's gonna come down. And it's typical Mark 7 to not make contact. Look at how much that thing bounces. Watch it. Bounce. Bounce. But this time it's going up. Wow, this thing is in horrible shape. So we're getting a rinse now. Or I think it's supposed to be rain -X. While still leaking trifoam out the side. Uh, I'm, I'm getting no rinse at the top of this whatsoever. I mean, yeah, dude, the wash works. The guy behind me, it works, but it does not work great. This is not worth the $9 I spent. All right, let's see what we're gonna get now. An empty pass of what I assume is supposed to be spot-free water. From look like the top only, we're done leaking foam. We're still getting something, oh, rain -X. This is rain -X? That's scary. This poor machine. Now we should be getting spot free rinse. Very nice slow pass, and I can't tell if these passes are slow because they're being generous with the rinse or if it's just because this machine is old. And based on the condition, I'm just gonna say this machine is Old. So it just old and poorly maintained and it's not doing, it's not in that good shape at all. It's going all the way back all the way back for this rinse, all the way to the back of the bay. It stopped, now it's making its way forward, ever so slowly, still, still trying to do a rinse, it's making its slow, pathetic way back. machine just replace it just replace it go oh, focus on the machine please thank you now once this gets to the front we should hear our mark 7 dryers spool up 
if it makes it to the front. <laughs> Mark 7, Mark 7 dot net. And there it just says soft wash. It still says stop, that says go, dryers are still turning on. And the other one just now powering up. But, as always with Mark 7 dryers, they're doing a great job. They are doing a fantastic job. 47 seconds remaining. It's looking to go. Oh, the lights just kicked on in here. So I just barely missed out on a bright filming for you guys. But the dryers are working phenomenally. sensor or I ran out of time I don't know that was a scary ish older mark 7 you know just because of how old it is I'm gonna go ahead and do a walk around haven't done one of these after car wash in a long time so let's pull over here put my antenna in and fold the mirrors back out let's just do a walk around so we can see what kind of quality job this thing did I'm gonna stop the GoPro doesn't need to be going anymore. Oh, left that bug there. Did not dry the front of the car at all. <laughs> you know, it did a great job. Let's check the license plate. Hey, hey, it's not Ben. All right, so that was a Mark 7 soft wash at uh, Texaco in Spring, Texas, off the corner of, oh geez, I already forgot the name of the road. Thank you guys for watching.